How do we actually create our first rest, uh, sorry, web server on Node.js? So we're going to look at the docs here on the Node.js and we're going to look at the API that we just installed, which is 691. And here there's actually a usage and example. And luckily they have an example on how to create a web server. So we're going to grab all the code they put in this example. Notice I just, I'm just going to grab all the code here in the example. This is JavaScript code, ECMAScript code actually. Um, and we're going to copy all of this and I'm going to paste it into a text document. So what I want to do is I want to go in, oh, that was the, that was the Mongo database. Let's shut that down. I want to go in and make a folder. Mine is going to call basic node. It's up to you what you want to call yours. I'm going to make a new text document and I'm just going to convert it into a server.js file. So it's going to be a JS file. I'm going to say, yeah, I want to change the extension. So now it's actually a JS file instead of what we had before. I'm going to open this guy by doing edit. So this is going to be opened inside notepad, pasting in all the code I just grabbed from the page here. And I'm just going to save that. And now I actually have a server ready to run, running on localhost, port 3000, and just printing back hello world. It's nothing else. How do we start this? Well, let's just open a node command prompt. So you can find that by writing node again, should pop up somewhere in the top. I go inside the node command prompt and now I need to find the file I just made. You can do that by going into the explorer again and just clicking in the white area, the white area here next to your actual path and I'll copy in this C work basic node or your path, whatever it is. And then I'll just write CD and paste in the path that I just copied. I'll do enter and now I'm actually in that path. Now to actually run our server, I'll just write node and then server.js or just node server. It doesn't need the JS because it knows, knows it's looking for a JS file. And now it says server running at this port. So let's just copy this port right here and open it inside the browser and here you have your hello world. So we just made a web server. Let's dive next videos. Let's dive into what we actually did. See you in the next couple of videos.